Marine Corps Detachment, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, trains engineer equipment operators, maintainers and technicians, military police, motor transport operators, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, defense specialists, and non-lethal weapon instructors for service throughout the Marine Air Ground Task Force. The detachment consists of three instruction companies and one school. Engineer Equipment Instruction Company provides entry-level and career progression training for the engineer equipment and technical engineer military occupational specialties of 1310 Engineer Equipment Officer, 1341 Engineer Equipment Mechanic, 1345 Engineer Equipment Operator, 1349 Engineer Equipment Chief, and 1361 Engineer Assistant. Motor Transport Instruction Company trains Motor Transport Marines to operate tactical vehicles in the military occupational specialties of 3531 Motor Vehicle Operator, 3534 Semi-Trailer Refueler Operator, and 3536 Vehicle Recovery Operator. Military Police Instruction Company trains Marines in the military occupational specialties of 5803 Military Police Officer, 5811 Military Police, 5821 Criminal Investigation Division Agent, 5814 Physical Security Specialist, 5816 Special Reaction Team Member, and 5819 Military Police Investigator. Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear School trains Marines in the Military Occupational Specialties of 5702 Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Defense Officer and 5711 Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Defense Specialist. I am Sergeant Cole Bumstead. Gunner Sergeant Jason Paul Sweeno. Sergeant Kevin Kennedy. Sergeant Andrew Webb. I'm a Vehicle Recovery Course Instructor at Motor Transportation Instruction Company. I'm a Marine Corps Unique Instructor at Engineer Equipment Instruction Company. I'm an instructor here at Military Police Basic Course. I am an instructor at the Marine Corps Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Defense School. Of Marine Corps Detachment, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Now, the mission of the school here at Fort Leonard Wood is to provide the operating forces uh, with basically trained and advanced level trained Marines in motor transportation. So our basic level school is a basic motor transportation operator, that's a 3531. And also in our advanced schools, we have 3534s, which are semi-refuelers, and vehicle recovery operators, which are 3536s. Now, the importance of the school to the Marine Corps is one, we provide uh, the operating forces with that basic level operator to be able to support the MAGTAF. Um, and also with our advanced level courses, being able to go out there and fuel birds on the flight line and recover vehicles that get stuck. Uh, the expectations upon graduating here at Fort Leonard Wood um, are being able to perform preventative maintenance checks and services uh, on all our vehicles, being able to operate the vehicles, i.e. going down the road, and performing basic level skills uh, to be able to put yourself in a position to, to haul cargo. Uh, motor transportation operators are, are kind of like your UPS in your civilian world. You call and we haul. Uh, we're that, we're that uh, front line that goes out there, gets the gear, and transport it from A to B. So the mission of our schoolhouse at the basic level is to provide a foundation of knowledge for both developing in the internal student and sustaining the transformation. These Marines leave here with a basic understanding of both theory of equipment and how to operate it. We teach our students with both uh, classroom instruction, practical application, and we provide a real-world relevance to what they're actually being taught. Uh, site surveys, project management, and actually construction planning. Uh, they get the whole aspect of what they can do both horizontal and the, the limited amount of vertical construction they may see or assist with throughout their career. Our engineers support the MAGTAF in a, a wide variety of uh, abilities. The billets they hold both group all the way down to that basic marine that's moving cargo on and off of MTBRs, ships or aircrafts to bring supplies to the forward operation bases. Our school sustains the transformation by providing a mirror or a reflection of what quality MOS 1345s, 1341s, and 1349s look like in the MOS. 
By providing this quality, it encourages sustaining the transformation to be better Marines at the lower levels, encouraging character development, and at the end of the day, a more ethical warrior. The mission of the school here is to receive entry-level privates and PFCs through the training pipeline and give them the skills and uh, the equipment to be basically trained military police officers ready for the fleet. With the innovative methods that we have during this MOS training, uh, not only do the students get to attend the classroom portion, but the wide variety of practical applications that they get to do and actually get hands-on, uh, whether it's their convoys with the Humvees, the simulators with the M9 scenarios or the machine guns, uh, they just get a lot of hands-on, which helps that with the real-world application and when they get to the Fleet Marine Force. Marines should want to come to this school, uh, not only for the experience of being both police officer and a Marine at the same time, but the wide variety that they can get into once they get to uh, this job field. Uh, you begin, become military police officer, 5811 MP, which is your primary MOS, but after that, uh, you can go to SRT, K9, physical security, accident investigation. There's just numerous things that Marines can do upon graduating and being a military police officer. The mission of our school is we are an MOS producing school for 5711s and 5702s. At the uh, CBRN school, we find it imperative to continue mentorship and training for these young Marines as they're coming through the training pipeline for the final step before they get out into the operating forces. The importance of our school is we provide those CBRN defense specialists out to the MAGTAP. There's the individuals that are training other Marines uh, at their units on how to conduct CBRN defense operations uh, independently. Some of the innovative methods that we use here at the CBRN school is the informal lecture method. Uh, we also use PowerPoints. Uh, and then we actually go out and we do these demonstrations, practical applications with the students on the equipment, some of the actions that they'll be doing. Those are conducted both here at the uh, CBRN school and then out at range 29. We also give the students the ability to instruct each other as well because with our Marines being instructors out in the operating forces, it's imperative that we give them the opportunity here to be able to uh, teach to their peers.